Hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. Happy Monday to you, or if you're watching this on replay, happy whatever day of the week it might be. On this video tutorial, we're gonna do um, something fun with oyster shells. I'm gonna tell you where to get them, how to prep them, everything you need to do. Um, we will be doing a few more projects throughout spring and summer with oyster shells. So this won't be the only time, but this is just a, it's a classic. Uh, there's two things that you can do that we're gonna, I'm gonna show you today. And it's super easy and super affordable. So as you're hopping on, say hi, let me know where you're watching from. Let me know if you have any questions along the way. Feel free to sprinkle all that good jazz. All right, so where can you get oyster shells? Well, um, I ordered mine from Amazon. Let me just hop over here and put the link for the Amazon. Um, and you can get them in different sizes. So I, um, if you are gonna make what we're making today, I would recommend that you get one of the, okay, one of the um, two to three inches or three to four inches size of oysters. Um, but I've ordered a couple times from Amazon, and they come in a bag. They're, you know, around $20, $25 for, I don't know, they're around a dollar a piece, roughly. And the thing about ordering your shells is that they come clean. They're all ready to go. Where if you go to a restaurant and have oysters or something and bring home your oyster shells, um, it is a little bit of a chore to clean them up before you can craft with them. So either way, if you're going to use oyster shells that you get from a restaurant, maybe something you ate or you asked the restaurant to hang on to them for you, then just Google it and there's instructions on the internet about how to clean your oyster shells so they won't be smelly or sticky, how to just get them nice. But if you order them from Amazon, they're all done for you. Okay, so, um, and I've got oyster dust on my hands. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to make just this little um, little dish that you can just set on the counter and put your rings in it, put your earrings in it, put paper clips in it, whatever you would like. I want to come close so I can show you what the difference is. And um, it's, it's dark and stormy in Atlanta today. So, my lighting isn't great. I'm awfully sorry about that. Okay, so this is what they look like before you do anything to them. This is what they look like. They're just beautiful after you do what we're gonna be doing with them today, okay? Um, so we're gonna be painting the inside of them with silver ink from Magnolia Design Company. I'm all about using what you have whenever possible and it works just great. And then we're gonna be doing the rim of gold. This is so easy around it. Using this Magnolia ink pen in gold. And then we'll seal the whole thing with a little bit of matte Mod Podge. This is one instance where, I know I always say that matte Mod Podge is my favorite, but in this instance, it might be pretty to have the glossy. Just a thought. So that's uh, where we're going and what we're doing. And um, I did pin a link down here for the silver ink, the gold pin, and the oysters. So when you go to the, if you go to Amazon to look, you know, look around at all the different sizes. You might want a variety. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do, um, if you're making, a ring dish or a little sit about dish. It could be one of the larger oysters. If you're gonna make a napkin ring or a set of napkin rings, isn't this pretty? I think it's just classic. Um, then you're gonna want it to be on the smaller end and let's measure. This one right here is three and a half inches, roughly in length, versus this one that is four and a half inches. So, I'm going to show you how to do this, and along the way you'll see how you do this. Okay, the first thing I did with my oyster shells is I put 
cleaned them off when I got them out of the bag because they have a lot of dust in the bag. Okay, so I just wiped them off and then I took a, a sanding, um, this is like sandpaper, but it's on foam. And I just felt around the edge of my seashell and I sanded down any spots that were really sharp, okay? Because you don't want a guest or a child to take their napkin ring off their napkin and cut themselves. Some of these are sharp. So you can just sand them, sand the edges down, and you're, you're ready to go. So that's the first thing. The second thing is to paint the inside part of this of the oyster. Um, well, actually, the second step now is to do the to drill the hole, because for the napkin rings you're going to need a hole. Okay, and the link that I put here on the bottom of the page, it's for oyster shells that are already pre-drilled. But maybe you don't want all of your oyster shells to be drilled. And it was easy enough to do it myself because mine are not drilled. Okay, so this is how I work at my house. We're not fancy. I don't have any fancy tools. This drill is probably almost, I think my husband said he got this when he was 16. Um, so it's not fancy. So all I did, literally, was you need to decide which end do you want your hole to be. At the, the top or the neck where the two pieces connect or down at the bottom. And I think deciding that is gonna be based on where it is the thinnest. So, for example, with this little one, I drilled the hole down at the bottom. With this one, I drilled the hole up at the top. It needs to be a little bit on the thinner side. And then I just took my oyster shell, I did this in the kitchen on the granite, granite countertops, and I have this board that's my drilling board, and I just, you know, drilled a hole easy peasy it it did take just a little bit to go through um, but you can buy them already with holes in them okay so then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to paint them and i have one that is painted versus one that is not painted here to show you um what the painting the center part of it does is it adds this opalescent look um, it's not, not absolutely necessary, but I do think it makes them look a lot prettier. Can you see how this has got kind of a sheen to it and the, the raw one does not? Alternatively, you could paint the whole thing white, but I think this little part right here in every oyster shell is interesting and I don't want to paint that away. Okay, so we're just using some magnolia ink it works just fine as paint on this project and we're going to seal it when we're all done looking for a paintbrush that's dry um when we're all done we're going to be sealing uh our oyster shells you could probably also if you wanted bake them in the oven but I don't think you need to because you're not gonna probably ever put these in the dishwasher or in the sink. So I'm just taking my ink. The inks from Magnolia always have a white cap and I did pin a link down there. So what do you guys think of this idea? I know it's a little early to be doing seashells, but I have so many different projects that I want to do this season with oyster shells and seashells that I feel like we need to get an early start on it. Okay, so I have a teeny bit of um, this ink, and I'm just painting it all over with just a, you know, just your basic brush. And I'm just, you don't even have to be that careful. Um, I like it on lighter. So if you find that there's a spot where you've got too much, you can just use a paper towel to wipe whatever excess away. Super easy. Okay, and I'm throwing my paintbrush in the water. 
Okay, so that was the first step. This is Magnolia ink. You'll be, if you get, want to get this, you'll be able to use it on a hundred other projects. I, I love this silver. It's called Sparkling Silver. Okay, so I have two that have the center painted, and this one does not yet. And I think when I'm all finished here, I will take a picture so that you can see the difference. I'll take it close up with better lighting. Okay, and then the next thing is you're gonna do the gold rim around the outside of your oyster shell. And this is just a, a pin. I put a link down here from Magnolia. It comes in um, black, white, silver, and gold in both ink and chalk paste. So this one is the ink. And I've just shook it up. You can decide which point you want on it. I just have the round point. And I am literally just going to start coloring. I'll hold this up close in just a second. And you can put a thick band around it, a thin band. Um, it's totally what what you like see the start of where I'm doing that it's I mean this this is so easy it's not messy um, it looks fabulous after you get the um, band on then you can go back and sort of get the make sure that you've got the edges good because those do show So if you guys have questions along the way, feel free to put them in the comments here. Um, I am gonna be coming live again as soon as I'm done with this project because uh, I have some blessing boxes that I wanna tell you about. And if you're watching this on replay, I do those every month, so no worries. You can um, catch the next one. You can see how fast this comes together. I mean, seriously. Now, when I get up to the top here, I usually like to color that whole entire thing, or most of it anyways, because it will be visible. And we're just using, I'm doing these for my house, so they're just super neutral just with the wood beads that I didn't color or anything. And then the shells just have the gold rim on them and a little bit of the silver opalescence in the center. But um, you could do your beads whatever color you like. And there's always the option to decoupage the center of your oyster. Well, we did that a few times last year and we'll do it again this year. So I'm getting there. So sorry about that. That was our animal hospital calling to check on Mia, probably. So I'm just going back to grab all the edges. This dries pretty quickly. And boom, isn't that pretty? Isn't it so much prettier than one that has nothing done to it? Can you see that shine? And then it has the gold on the outside. You, I mean, you could do the outside in silver if you wanted as well, but I'm doing gold. Okay, so once you have that set, then, you are going to put some Mod Podge over the whole entire thing. Um, so I'll show you that, and then we'll go back and we'll color this other one so that I can show you the next step with the beads. And you know what, let's do the beads first because uh, I want this to dry a little bit more before I get into my Mod Podge. Okay. So I'm just using, I wish I knew what size these were. I think they're four and five millimeters and, and um, I have 10 on this little piece of my favorite 
natural polished hemp, which is from, uh, sorry, my dogs are going crazy. It's from Walmart in the jewelry section, okay? It's so great when you're beading because it goes right through the beads, it's easy. Okay, so I would um, just take my little piece of polished hemp and I'm going through my hole and then I'm gonna pull it around to the back and I'm gonna do a square knot. I think that is the easiest. Can you guys hear that? It is thundering and pouring rain in Atlanta today, which is really kind of strange. Sometimes I like those spring storms if you're inside <laughs> at home crafting. I may have cut this one too short. Let's do the other one because I put, I did the other one on a little bit longer string. So this, this one also has nine beads and I just alternated small, big, small, big, small, big. And I'm going to start with the small on the front. You see what I'm doing here? And then I'm just pulling this last bead around to the back and I'm going to do a square knot and pull it up close. And then once you get your knot, just pull it really tight and voila. And then I'm going to cut the ends of my polished hemp pretty short. They're not going to be visible. They're on the back. Okay, and we can, we can go ahead and do the Mod Podge right now. So I'm just going to take just a little bit of the Mod Podge and I'm going to go around the edges over the top of that gold pin and in the center. I don't want it to be on super thick because I don't want it to dry, you know, in big kind of cloudy looking patches. So I'm pulling the excess off. And that's all there is to it. I mean, it's so darn easy. Oops. So here's one that we just made. And here is the one that I made before I came live. What do you guys think? I think... I love it. I'm going to make a, a set of probably six for my house. Um, but like I was saying before, if you want to do brighter colors, you certainly could do colored beads or even, um, you know, glass beads. If you want, you could put a ribbon. I got one out to show you. If this appeals to you, you could put um, like one of these little pieces of buffalo check or whatever you like. You could tie something or a bow on your little, on the um, polished hemp that's beaded. And so just to do the ring dish or the little tchotchke dish, I just didn't have the hole drilled in it, but everything else, where is it, was completely the same. I painted the inside with the silver ink I used this pin, which is awesome. You can use it for a lot of different things. On the outside, then I did a little bit of Mod Podge on it, and it's good to go. And it um, it would look pretty, you know, with, as a place for you to put your ring or your earrings or um, salt and pepper cellars. That would be really pretty. And yeah. Oh, thank you, Mary, for the stars. I really appreciate that. So these were the two oyster ideas that I wanted to show you today. I hope you liked the project. I have lots more oyster ideas. In fact, this afternoon, 
Well, last night was another one of my non-sleeping nights. Darn. Uh, so I wandered around Pinterest <laughs> looking at oyster projects and oh my word, I got pictures that I just saved to my iPad of all kinds of different, super creative things I would never think in a million years to do with oyster shells. So I will, at some point this afternoon, I'll share those pictures here at DIY Dreaming and you can have a look um, and see if anything inspires you. Um, I did pin links down here if you want to go to Amazon and look at oysters. Alternatively, you can just do a Google search, uh, Amazon oyster shells, and it'll bring a bunch of them up. They do have some that are like $60, and I don't know, that maybe those ones don't have the jagged edges, I'm really not sure, but I'm frugal. So I think mine were around a dollar a piece. Uh, or maybe even less. And you can choose what size you want. If they're for napkin rings, smaller is better. If they're for like little tchotchke dishes, bigger is better. And um, yeah, so that is pretty much all I wanna show you for right now. Thank you, Jan. I'm so glad you like this idea. I'm really trying to mix it up as much as possible so that you guys don't think that I just like to do one kind of craft. I really like to do Pretty much everything and I don't know if you guys saw where did I put them this is an example of some of the variety that we do here um, did you guys see this video where I showed you how to make some pretty wreaths using Dollar Tree succulents there's one how did this go here's another this wreath came from Goodwill, and here is one more. So I just like to do different things that are gonna be quick, easy, affordable, maybe a little different. Um, so those are the kind of projects I like to do here at DIY Dreaming, and I hope you do too. Okay, so last thing, uh, if you want to Make sure that you have a good chance to see what I have coming up next, which in a few minutes I'll be back and I'll be showing you the new blessing boxes and talking about that. Um, do it this or this. That's a heart. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Or say something in the comments down here. And then most important, come up to the three little dots at the top of your page. I don't know which corner they're in. And check to make sure you've liked and followed DIY Dreaming and that um, your notifications are turned on. And you don't want highlights. You want, I don't know what the other option is. Wow, it's really storming. Um, but not just highlights, because when you, if you choose highlights as your notification option, then they'll just show you something once every 10 days or something. I don't know exactly how that works. Okie dokie. I will see you guys in a little bit. Thanks for joining me for these oyster shell um, napkin rings and little jewelry dishes.